Good morning. So we are um, still at Willow Fields. We've got a couple of days left to the appointment for the PET CT and we've been having some visitors. So let me see what I can show you there. So we've got Steve and Viv, obviously John's there. And there's me and they've brought little Onyx with them um, who's a lovely cheeky little chap. He is a border collie, that's the word. That's the word. Um, and uh, and he is lovely. He is so much fun to have around. He doesn't stop. Pretty much like his dad. So, <laughs> and then we've had a right laugh. We did loads of day drinking yesterday, me and Viv, which was perfect. We just sat out in the sunshine with a bottle of Prosecco, just chatting like we'd known each other for years and years and years, and it was wonderful. So uh, uh, I'm not too sure when they're uh, when they're heading off. They can stay as long as they like because it's been lovely. Um, and yesterday I had another surprise as well. I can't tip them up much, but look, I got some flowers. And they were sent from my new job. Um, just saying that they're so sorry that I've got to go through all of this and they're out there with me. So how beautiful and wonderful is that? So um, I did do a, f uh, a work shift on uh, Saturday morning. I did a, a, a shift I did from uh, six till nine in the morning. I know it's only a little short thing. And it was a killer getting up at uh, like five or, or waking up at five anyway. But it was good. It went well. Um, I don't know why it didn't. I think we just had to prove for me and for work that um, uh, I'm in a good mental place to be uh, doing the job that I do. So that worked out fine. So I'm working again tonight as well. Um, and it'll be back to the three shifts a week that I do, which obviously is not a lot. And my boss is wonderfully understanding and just said, if there's any shifts that get in the way of any treatment or appointments, just tell me and I'll change them. So while I can, I will get working and get the uh, coffers topped up a little bit. I've only been there since October, haven't I? So I can't expect him to pay me for all of this, um, all of this cancer treatment and everything. It's going to go on for a while, from, from what, even if it's just for the five weeks of treatment and then the, um, is it the brachiotherapy, the internal stuff and what have you afterwards. So, you know, they're being absolutely wonderful, which is uh, good to know that no matter what, after all of this, I'll have a job to go back to. So that's all I can really um, wish for and hope for, which is lovely. So I'm going to go and I'm going to take my coffee. Viv brought me this. So this is butter in a tin. It's Spanish butter in a tin. It is the best butter I have ever tasted in my entire life. I made some uh, hot cross buns with bacon, cheese and egg on yesterday. Don't knock it until you tried it. And we had that on it. Oh, yeah. But that stuff is amazing. Um, but uh, yeah, we're being treated to breakfast this morning. But in, uh, Steve and Viv are going to cook in the van there. So I'm going to go take some bits over. Um, and have a lovely breakfast and, uh, and sit out with them. Although there's no sitting out because I can see it's raining. So we'll be sitting in for breakfast this morning, no doubt. So yeah, yeah, it's been a lovely weekend, it really has. Um, and it's been a lovely week catching up with everybody. So it's been, uh, it has been lovely. And uh, hopefully we'll get some more thingies in. We're going to organise some friends to get meeting up with them because we've not seen them for a very long time. And hopefully we can just get these little bursts in between all the treatment and appointments, or between all my appointments leading up to treatment, and then see what goes on with that. So, yeah, off we go with coffee. So, we have Le Umber there. I know, i have messy hair again. So we are parked here. Uh, we parked there last night because about 20 minutes in that direction is Castle Kill because I've got my pet CT scan today. So I am in, putting some very, very bad pastries in the bin. I am in full tracky mode. They've asked me to not wear anything with metal on and if I've got nothing metal on, then I can carry on wearing these in the CT scan. I don't have to put one of those gowns on, so that'd be nice. Um, woke up to the sound of waves. Up my bridge there. Oh, you can hear me. And then in here, I should have a husband. Hello. Hello. It's 
cold out there, you know? Yeah, I bet. Jeez. Just leave me hair in the camera while I'm waiting. No, I'm going to watch mine, all right. Yeah, well, everyone keeps saying that you should do your hair next. You need a, a new do. A wig. <laughs> well. <laughs> let's not go there. No, let's not go there yet. Uh, yeah, so we're ready? I think we are. Yep. Spin the chairs around and let's go. And get going, just in case we get stuck in a bit of traffic. I haven't got my phone number to know what time it is. Uh, the time is five past seven, so we're running a little bit behind. Five past seven, so we're running a little bit late because uh, we've got to get there for 7.45 and that's getting the 20 minutes or so to get there and then get parked and find out where we're going. So, so yeah, off we go. I'll let you know how it goes in a bit. So we got to the hospital to be told that there was a bit of a delay with the radioactive injections getting there. So we had to sit around for a bit. So it was a good two hours after my appointment time that we managed to get into the room and get ready to get my injections ready for the PET scan. Well, we're going. The guy's here. Not that guy. He's my guy. Uh, hello. The other guy. Pedro. Pedro. And, uh, and we're going to get the injections started. Then you're going to get kicked out, aren't you? I am, because you're going to be too hot. I'm going to be too radioactive, radioactive. Uh, uh. I don't even know what you're singing. It's the song that's got the word radioactive in it. Oh, okay. Is it your song? <laughs> I think it might be uh, uh, Imagine Dragons. Oh, right. Okay. But then it might probably not be because I'm oh. rubbish at stuff like that. So. Oh, right. so there we go. Giving blood as well as usual. Normally I'm, I'm yeah. good at doing that kind of thing. He was well impressed, wasn't he? Yeah, getting okay. gushing out. 10 out of 10. <laughs> Thank you. There we go. Right, we're back in the van. Back in the van. Back in the van. John got kicked out like an hour before I did. He wasn't Can't allowed. Too hot. Too hot. Too hot to handle. Mm -mm. That's a song as well, isn't it? Don't be singing songs all day. Mm, okay. Because you know what'll happen. I'll just change all the words to them and annoy you. He will. He does that a lot. He does. Um, <laughs> So that was pretty straightforward. I think the worst part for me, because I was helping do some cleaning yesterday, um, so doing lots of mopping and dusting and, and what have you, is that my shoulders are killing me. And I had to hold my hands above my head in that, in that scanner. So, uh, so yeah, so that wasn't particularly the most comfortable thing, but they put a blanket on. And they're so lovely. Everybody's been so lovely with all of these tests and things. So that's that. So hopefully they reckon it takes a week for the results to come back. My appointment is in six days. So they've uh, given the radiologist a heads up to try and make sure that um, the results for this are ready for my oncology appointment next week. Um, and that's it. So we're told I've got to stay away from pregnant women and children. And... Um, we're starving and obviously I need coffee so we're yeah. working on that right now to try and figure out um, where, where we're going, what we're doing <clears throat> and when we're doing it. First of all though we've got to try and pay for parking because the parking machine doesn't recognise John's number plate nope. so once we get that done we can uh, we can work on it from there. Oh I tell you. <laughs> um, we got back from the hospital and uh, both of us did not sleep at all last night. Um, we're just not used to sharing a bed in John's van, and I think that's the the biggest thing. But my shoulders have been killing me for doing all the cleaning and things. So it's uh, uh, then having to put my arms above my head oh, for the CT. It was mental. It was, like, so achy. Uh, so we came back to Willow Fields, and I just came in my van and hit the sack. Cars just feel rotten. It always feel okay. I mean, I don't feel mentally bad i don't know if it's just coming out in in my body i know i'm not used to wearing round neck jumpers so it feels like this is strangling me i got a call from the breast clinic so i've got my uh, appointment with the oncologist on tuesday next week and then on the thursday um i have to go to a different hospital this time so i'm getting them all in so so far i've done scunthorpe and then castle hill today and then grimsby on thursday next week so um go to do the referral to the breast clinic because of the cysts that they found on my ct scan so just go get them checked out and make sure it's nothing sinister um but i mean at that point i think as awful as it sounds i probably would have found out prior to that if it is something sinister because of the pet ct that i had today so john and i have decided that um we're going to move in out so 
Uh, we've both got work to do tomorrow, many different kinds of work to do tomorrow. Um, and we're going to be at Willowfields for the bank holiday. So we're just going to squirrel ourselves out of the way to one side, I think. And I might help out behind the bar a little bit. Right, so I'm going to grab myself a big litre bottle of water and uh, go over and uh, watch a film or something with John. Good morning. Oh, sticky out hair bit. <sighs> well, we had a... Um, a bit very busy day yesterday he was um helping get everything ready at the campsite for the bank holiday weekend and uh, the field is still wet so johnny is uh currently towing all the caravans onto the field to save him having to rescue the um little uh mondeos and things that are trying to <laughs> tow all the car uh, all the caravans on at the minute um so yeah so john and i managed to get some uh, quick tea last night and um, a lot of people couldn't turn up because of the weather, so the bar wasn't open. So we were straight in and, and just had a night in, which was lovely. I finished watching Game of Thrones for the third time. I think maybe that'll be enough for now. And then we're looking for something else. If you've got any recommendations for what to watch next, we've been told things like Vikings. We're going to watch The Gentleman. Um, there's a, f a few other things that we're going to do. Um, I'm working this weekend. My job means that um, when there are bank holidays and things, I get busier. So I'm working Friday night and then Sunday, 6 till 10 in the morning, Monday, 6 till 10 in the morning, Tuesday, 6 till 10 in the morning, and then Tuesday at half two, we're going to the uh, see the oncologist. So it'll be a bit, of a, a bit of a busy day for me on Tuesday. But you know, a busy mind is one that doesn't wonder. Good morning, or oh, I should say, just about good afternoon. Someone has been sleepy. Have a nice lie in. I think that's the first time I've had a lie in until the afternoon. Until the afternoon. We've been we have been very tired lately. I was just gonna say we're not we're not eating the green slime that was on John's side then. <laughs> so just to clarify. Hello. But we're having a, we're having a, a nice a nice dinner. Um John's making the toast and we have goose eggs. So we are going to have goose eggs on toast. Shockingly. I'm going to cook the goose eggs in here and then I'm going to take my frying pan over and we're going to eat them in John's van. So hopefully I'll remember to do some more video on it because I've never cooked goose eggs before and Steve and Viv have recommended, they've got geese and it's their geese um, and they've recommended that we have them simply goose egg on toast and not anything, not, not cooking with them in any way so we can get the benefit of the flavour. So here we go. So a little comparison. That's a chicken egg. That's a goose egg. I've got four of them. Normally we'd have two of these on, to on two rounds of toast, but John's doing three rounds of toast and we're going to have two eggs each. So, yeah, cooking on solar today. Oh my goodness. The size of them things. Let's get them steaming away. <laughs> Look at the yolk porn right there. Mmm. Mmm. Look at it. Look, 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 look. Lush ass. Right, no more of that. We're going to eat and then we'll come back with a verdict of whether we like goose eggs or not. Mm. Sometime later. Yeah, we've been that term. What do they call it? Um, rubbish. Stupid YouTubers. Yeah. Yes, we have been rubbish. So uh, we ate the eggs mm. on toast. Yes. And um, and they were delicious. Extremely delicious. They were incredibly, incredibly tasty. But you made a very good call on buying tiger bread as well, didn't you? you bought that a tiger nice. loaf. Mm. So that was epic. But yes. Like... And Spanish salted butter thing as well. It was a tasty, tasty meal, folks. Proper tasty. So yeah, well, well, well impressed uh -huh. with the with goose eggs. Apart from you had to proper whack them with a knife to crack them open. Mm. So yeah, yeah. Just and this is up. our assumption. A few days later, if you notice, we've changed of clothes maybe, um, because um, we were really good YouTubers. Yes, again. we literally <laughs> ate them and then put everything on the side and then just sat down and watched telly. Didn't we? No, we went for a walk and then sat down and watched telly. And washed up. And then yeah, you did. Been in my life lately, isn't it? <laughs> oh, all my stuff's in your van at the minute because you've got to wash up. See you then. And on that note, <laughs> and really on that note, apparently, uh, yeah, so we've had the bank holiday weekend in the middle 
of uh, of all of that. Steve and Viv left, and um, and then we had the eggs. We moved. You, you saw in the video. We had to move to a different part because the Airbnbs have all book, been booked out because it's the bank holiday. Uh, so I got to help out behind the bar a little bit, which was great fun um, and got to do loads of catching up. Team Sober were here again doing their motorbike plus motorbike meet. But um, it was always it's always great. They have a right crack in there um, and it's always lovely to have a good catch up with everybody. So um, uh, for anybody else who saw me this weekend said hi, Eddie and Julie. I'm sorry, I keep forgetting your name. Um, hi and nice to see you again. And it's just been, it has been a, it's been a busy one. So uh, we are just recovering a little bit, editing. Um, my morning shifts are absolutely killing me. I don't know um, what the deal is, but um, I get up at, say, quarter past five. I get myself a coffee, wake up a little bit, so I'm ready to, to work at six. And uh, previously it's been fine. Now, I don't know, I feel like I'm fit for nothing for the rest of the day because I'm just so tired. So, um, yeah, I don't know. I feel like a 10 stone, 12 stone, maybe more, weakling at the moment. Like, I can't cope with anything that's out of the ordinary. So, who knows whether that's uh, um, stress up here going out into my body or not. Or because I've actually been busier lately than I have been for a while. Who knows? So, that's all that. We're going to get all packed up and ready. Uh, we've got bits of, bits of things to be getting on with today. Um, we are going down to the local pub with Gabby and Johnny later. The Duke... Um, they've just got a new chef, new menu and all the things down there. So we're going to go and do the uh, uh, sitting on the meal lettings, which is an annual thing, which is great fun to see. And then get some food afterwards, which should be lovely. And then tomorrow is my last morning shift for the week and my um, first visit with my oncologist. So that's I think we've got to get there for 2.40 tomorrow. And hopefully by that point, my PET CT results will be in and they'll know um, whether my cancer is more advanced than it was before and also when they want my treatment to start. So hopefully tomorrow will be a big day uh, for finding things out. So um, yeah, I'll leave this video here and then I can start the next one. I will do an update because I know you guys don't want to wait a week. Um, I'm getting so many lovely messages still, which is absolutely amazing. Um, so I'll probably do a video in a, in a couple of days when I've got enough to fill a video. I can put some things in. Maybe uh, I'll probably wait and do the results from. I'll find out what's going on with the oncologist and after I've been to the breast clinic on Thursday as well, and uh, give you all an update about all of them at the same time. So I'll take loads of care. Thank you once again for all the messages. I do appreciate and I read every single one of them. Uh, so thank you so much for sending them all in. So uh, take loads of care and I shall be updating you again in a few more days. I'll see you later, guys.